There's only one way that we could possibly put a ribbon on an episode like this. Magical from beginning to end. And only now, in our final moments, do we realize the true power of the dark side. This battle station is fully operational. There's only one way to end an episode like that. This guy has the record for all time appearances on this show. The most interviews, the most minutes, a force like never created before in this show's history. The record holder for sets done, interviews done, all time. The only living member of the Kill Tony Hall of Fame is here. And it ends with one big red machine. Ladies and gentlemen, an absolute fucking legend of the game. He is the Memphis Strangler. Kill Tony Hall of Famer, the Big Red Machine, the Vanilla Gorilla. The Memphis Strangler, the Vanilla Gorilla. This is indeed the one and only, the one, the only, Austin Zone. William Montgomery, everybody. Time after time, somehow, apparently getting stronger and stronger somehow. It is unbelievable. A man that could come in in week, he could come in, he could take a night off and go, oh, I've already done so much, but instead film, time after time, laugh after laugh, the volume level. Nice to be back from the big island. <laughs> Imagine thinking to yourself, you know what animal seems the most ninja-like and coming up with turtles. Uh, uh, <laughs> That'd be like trying to come up with the perfect protagonist for a video game and going, yeah, let's make him a plumber. <laughs> And then when that, for no explainable reason, becomes successful, rather than going a different direction, you brainstorm and create a sibling who also happens to be a plumber. <laughs> Genius. Kids love plumbers. Was taxidermist already taken? <laughs> Anybody else think it's weird Master Shredder gets his funding from George Soros? What's going on in the sewers down there? <laughs> that is Mitch McConnell ordering food at a McDonald's. Um, what the fuck happened to that guy? <laughs> now confirmed after months and months of denial, Joe Biden was indeed on business phone calls with Hunter Biden, but they now claim the conversation was about stuff like the weather. Yeah, I guess there is a 100% chance of making it rain. <laughs> a homeless woman was just killed at the Gallo Winery when a tractor mowing the grass ran over her sleeping body. The bad news is she will never see her family again. The good news is the winery will soon have an earthy, full-bodied vintage with subtle heads a brain and liver. <laughs> Okay. Justin Trudeau and his wife are splitting up. Wait, so now she suddenly doesn't like black guys? <laughs> Leaning Tower of Pisa, uh, you know somebody losing their job. <laughs> Either that or Saudi Arabia invented a time machine and the plane barely clipped the edge of the building. <laughs> a warehouse in California has, in a surprising twist, turned out to be an illegal Chinese-run virus laboratory. But in a more surprising twist, Aphex's new twin, new EP, only has four songs. <laughs> I fucked up the Aphex twin show! <laughs> Here, let me read that one one more time. I feel like it was... <laughs> a warehouse in California has, in a surprising twist, turned out to be an illegal Chinese-run virus laboratory, but in an even more surprising twist, Aphex Twins' new EP only has four songs. <laughs> How pissed are you people right now? Post Malone is on stage, but he isn't performing. That'd be like going to the strip club with Hunter Biden, but he opts not to impregnate a stripper. <laughs>
That's my time. Okay, that's it. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Okay, that's my time. Wow. I mean... Look at me, bitch. You better look at him. Thank you, bitch. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna be an actor now. They casted me in a uh, remake of Rescue 911. They're gonna start doing a Rescue 911 in Hawaii. I'm gonna be the driver of the ambulance, so I'm super excited. We already started shooting. I have to go back in a couple weeks, but super excited. It seems like it could be a good opportunity for me. That is so exciting. Uh, so you're the <laughs> ambulance driver for Rescue 911, the old classic show. Yeah, I'm sorry bringing up that reference. I've been working on not doing the older references, Tony. I'm very sorry. I can't. I can't stop doing the. What's funny over there, Redman? I can't stop doing. What are you doing? Why are you slapping yourself like that? It's some new thing. I'm trying. <laughs> Sometimes it makes people laugh. Not all the time. Every time you do it, there's a weird sound. Do it again. Yeah, every now and again, <laughs> it kind of makes a sound. But not all the time, but sometimes. <laughs> ah. I got a shit so bad right now, Tony. Oh, my goodness. I have a horrible doo-doo problem. As you know, I have trouble doo-dooing in public restrooms because I, I jump in the shower after I doo-doo. I don't wash my butt. It really does. One of the most unbelievable things. It's kind of become an issue with us. I don't think you people understand. When William says that he gets in the shower after taking a number two, it's because he doesn't wipe his butt. He gets off the toilet and straight into the shower and then wipes it with his, like, finger. Can you describe with what With my fingers, yeah. I lather him up with soap. It just, in my defense, it used to take me fucking 20 minutes to wipe my asshole, and I was just like, I'm sick of this shit. I don't give a fuck, dude! I love... Jumping in the fucking shower after I take a shit. It's a way I decompress at the fucking end or beginning or the middle of a long day. Just getting in the shower, putting the hands in my butthole. Have you ever done that, Ty? I definitely have. <laughs> <laughs> Got your back on this one. <laughs> Sometimes he does it when he's not in the shower. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> the record holder all time, the most prolific force in the history of Kel Tony, William Montgomery has arrived. Yeah. It's so it's so nice to be here. Earlier uh, tonight, Post Malone, you mentioned something about dude wipes. I actually am very excited to announce after the episode last week, the new spokesperson for Dude Wipe! <laughs> Seven year, $40 million contract. It wasn't that funny, dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, sometimes I do this. That was too fast. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. You're coming back from Hawaii super refreshed with what seems to be superpowers right now. What else happened out there that thing? Why do you think you're coming in so strong? I don't know. I actually, this time, I did get a new tattoo and I'm starting to really feel the powers of the Looney Tunes. I got a Foghorn Leghorn. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Incredible. It cost me $5,000. So. Wow. Why did you pay so much money for it? Um, because I was, I was thinking when I was in Hawaii, the doctors were telling me, don't go because you're skin cancer, but I'm just getting to the point. I think you've been here as well before Matthew Broussard, but just getting to the end of my fucking rope, dude. I think you were that way a couple years ago or something. So we share that in common. Yeah. I was just at the end of my fucking rope. Just do I jump off this build, this fucking building? I think you were in a similar situation like three years ago or something. And you talked me out of it. I did talk him out of it. He was a fucking pussy. I thought he was going to do it. But I'm glad he didn't. What did you say to... What did you... When do people get potty trained? Three? Three? Yeah. 
Okay, you guys got some slow kids out there. But... All right. Yeah, what did so, you just fucking say right there? Um, <laughs> so about three years old. By the way, this is another one of those instances. Make some noise if you guys wipe your ass. All right, now wa watch this, watch this. Make some noise if you don't wipe your ass. Okay, okay but, we got a couple seriously, of though, Are you just making that noise to be funny? Yes. Yeah. Okay. William, kick him out of here. Yeah, I mean, who is that? Is that my fucking drunk-ass father out there? Who is that? That's what I asked for! Same fucking contract, Scotty Pippen! <laughs> and they gave it to me, so it's really nice up here! Da -da. <laughs> Sir, we know you in the dude wipe community. We actually call you the Scotty Pippen of dude wipes. We know this. I'm the Scotty Pippen of dude wipes. You've heard it here first. What did you say to him to talk him out of killing himself? Matthew, come on, you know I love you, dude! <laughs> We briefly dated, Tony. I don't know if Matthew wanted me to say that. But yeah, it was like a lover's quarrel. He almost fucking jumped off. I was like, Matthew, stop, man. You know I love your words. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew, you know I love your words. <laughs> <laughs> William's a wild boy. Matthew, is this true that you guys had a lover's quarrel? It was a, a short but a fervorous tryst. Ah, more more lustful than anything, but I'll never forget. It's itching right now. <laughs> I swear to God, it's itching down there. I think the horse women can feel me on that. <laughs> you know they got itchy buttholes. They do not. They do not. Look, they're all shaking their heads. Clean as hell. <laughs> all four of them okay. at once. Okay. You, you do not tell a woman she has an itchy butthole, William. Those are grown ass women over there. They find it unacceptable. Sweet little dog, still good? Still doing good, still kissing her tummy nonstop, all the time. Kissing her tummy with my tongue, by her butt. <laughs> she loves it, I love it, my butt's better. <laughs> what? Luckily, I started putting uh, grape juice on it. The uh, yellow grape juice. Ah, did someone, did a doctor tell you to do that? Dr. Threckled. Dr. Freckle? Dr. Threckled. Threckled. That's your actual doctor? Yeah, Dr. Threckled. So here we are, brand new deal. How do you plan on spending some of the millions of dollars? Oh, he's pulling them out one know. by Hold one. on, I can smell your fucking asshole right now, you oh, nasty shit. piece of shit! <laughs> the fuck are you doing sitting on the front row, dude? I can smell your butthole from a mile away. <laughs> This might be one of the most brilliant sponsorships I've ever seen. Uh, yes. Oh, uh, William, I'd like to ask a question about dude wipes. Yeah. Uh, what about hard to reach nuggets when I'm on a cross country flight? <laughs> That's a funny question. <laughs> dude wipes aren't gonna fucking help you, Kurt. I mean, what are you, you need something else. You need to shave down there. I started shaving my butthole. Just shave down there. Just yeah, get I got trimmer. hemorrhoids too, dude. I thought we were gonna bond over that. Is that a fucking threat, you piece of shit? What the fuck? <laughs> No, I thought. Why is that funny, you fucking idiot? I'm bombing up here right now, dumbass. I'm having a real hell of a time up here. I tried to do the gay thing with you. That didn't really work out. And then you're laughing at me like that, you piece of shit. I think you're doing fantastic. Well, thank you, Tony. You guys think William's doing good up here? Why didn't you clap, bitch? <laughs> I swear, Tony, I have to shit so bad. I might have to do it up. I might have to do it tonight. Honestly, I would recommend like butt wipes, like dude wipes. Uh, the the mint dude wipes is one of my favorites. Red Band, can you slow down a little bit? When I know you, you're, you're slow so because fast. you don't even know how to wipe your ass, but you should use dude wipes. Are we really going to fucking do this tonight, you dumbass? No. What the fuck did you just say? I don't want to be gay anymore. <laughs> yeah, it is incredible. <laughs> I mean, isn't that a gay man's nightmare? Is just going down there and it's a fucking chocolate factory? 
We know I you like the Charlies, but no chocolate factory, right? I stopped at the hemorrhoid. It's, yeah. So yeah. you wouldn't kiss my bottom? You wouldn't kiss down there? Definitely not, William. I okay. love you, but no. Do it. Do it. <laughs> wow. Do it. Wow. Do it. Do it. It's incredible. Do it. Known homophobe John <laughs> Dees starts a do it chant on the kissing <laughs> of the <best> asshole. <laughs> Oh, wow. Very interesting, John. <laughs> he just got off the airplane. Just got off the airplane. <laughs> you can be gay if you just got off an airplane. Everyone knows that. <laughs> yeah, it's called jet fag. <laughs> hey! Boom. Post Malone, I have to say, I know you are involved with... Uh, the chicken place, um, Raising Cane's. Is yes, there sir. any way, would you ever think, do you need a new spokesperson for Raising Cane's? I mean, I'm on the fucking prowl to be a spokesperson of these different places. Maybe you'll think about it or... I'll tell you what, me and Todd will take a look at it and we'll... Do you have a, like a resume or like something like, something yeah. like this? And hold on, Todd's going to be there? Yeah, he's my boss. Okay, okay. Yeah, no, I have a resume I could totally. And also, shoot Kurt, over. I wanted to say he's not in the lab, so he's just a, he's just the face. He has no say over how the product. It's like the George to. Foreman grill. Well, like, yeah. <laughs> so can you give us like a little pitch of what your raising Kane's uh, vision yeah, is, yeah, William? Yeah. What? Yeah. Whatever you have, I'll send it to Todd. Okay. Yeah. Just do it straight to camera. Welcome to Raisin Cane's. My name's William Montgomery, and if you're hungry, I got something for you. It's called a Caniacs Combo. It comes with a 32-ounce drink. You get six pieces of chicken, two sides of fries, maybe a piece of bread, maybe some other stuff. But if you're hungry, get that Caniacs Combo. I'm going to be there with Post Malone. <laughs> You know we love eating KDX combos together. And we'll do the combo, and each combo that we do together comes with a pack of dude wipes. Yeah. Comes with a pack of dude wipes. A uh, 32 yes. ounce Sprite and some dude wipes for your asshole. <laughs> but it doesn't help with dingleberries. Kurt, why would you fucking bring that up? Uh, can I tell you Are something? You to make I don't, me look bad? No, I, I don't believe you even have a sponsorship with dude wipes. Wow. Yeah, I don't give a fuck anymore, Kurt. I swear to God, I've had this thing in my butthole. It's the size of like a large grape right now for about two months. Yeah, so I don't have say... fucking weak red asshole hair, dude. Red asshole I got hair, dark dude. Italian. Fucking idiot! Wait, I think he's turning into the werewolf. I think it's happening right now. The full moon is out right what now. What time is it? Oh! <laughs> Kurt, you can't say a fucking thing. Boy, your ass, you look like a struggling werewolf, nigga. Your ass. <laughs> A werewolf that ain't killed in a long time, bitch. Your ass. Oh my god. That that nigga can't wait till a full moon. He's like <laughs> William, we love you. Anything else you want to say to these people? I just want y'all to know that there might be shit on my butthole. I don't know, 60% of the time, but it doesn't change the fact that Aphex Twin literally only had four fucking songs on that. It's like, why do you fucking tease me like that, bitch? <laughs> why do you tease me like that, bitch? Why are you always teasing my ass like that, bitch? Is there anything else that you want to uh, tell this audience, tell these people that love you so much, or perhaps something uh, passionate from the heart? Again, I will be right out front after the show. Uh, I have these new T-shirts. I'm super excited about it. And just remember, I never go stop loving the cold trash. For girls, if you get the sexy Bing Bing T-shirt, go to bed, you get bong bong. Never in a million years. Will I stop loving Nicole Tran? 
before we let you go, what the fuck else? Dude wipe, seven years, 40 million. Seven You're about to go on the road. Million. The brand new William Montgomery shirt is out right now. Yeah, very excited about that. Get on that. Um, also, I was in Seattle this past weekend for a gay wedding. I was very excited about it. My oldest friend, Robert Wallace, there's a lot of homeless people. I was able to bag four homeless people <laughs> in the span of 48 hours. But yeah, I got through TSA with the knife and just started. It was a bloodbath in Seattle. <laughs> Bl Seattle Blubber at 2023. <laughs> you know, I don't know if you know this, but Ron White was up here earlier with a sweet little dog. Sweeter. I know, I saw it, and it reminded me of my sweet little dog is four pounds. I took her to the vet last week. She's now four pounds. And I kiss her tummy. Why are you dancing like that, you fucking idiot? I got a sweet little dog a couple months ago. A couple months ago. How loud can this place get for the one and only William Montgomery? Everybody? William Montgomery, ladies and gentlemen. There you go, we did it again. Ladies and gentlemen, Hall of Famer, the legend, the big red machine, William Montgomery.